These musicians from the vividly colorful land of Thar, Rajasthan, playing against the backdrop of Gandhi Smriti and Darshan Smriti in New Delhi, have a message to project. The evening marks the occasion of the award ceremony of the Charkha Shanjai Ghosh Fellowship for Peace and Development and the birth anniversary of the founder Shanjai Ghosh. In fact, the day also forms a part of the celebration of the 10th anniversary of Charkha. These performing artists represent the team of Gavaniyars founded by Chhonjai Ghosh. The group has innovatively used the rich oral tradition of Rajasthan with the aim of communicating messages of social value to the people in their region. Portrayed in their own language and local style, folk media presents to the people a form of communication that can be both entertaining and informative. The evening represents for Charkha an attempt to open further the channels of communication between the people of the tension-ridden areas of Jammu and Kashmir and the mainline media. Performing on the occasion is the multi-ethnic group of the Gavaniyars and the culturally rich groups of Kashmiri artists, Hamraz, who jointly portray in an interesting blend the hardships of everyday reality in Jammu and Kashmir. At the same time, each group captures and projects in its own unique style the colorful mosaic of multi-ethnic traditions. The evening begins with a play that captures the attention of an eminent invited audience coming from all walks of life, but like-minded in their concern for the emotions and feelings of these marginalized communities. In the form of dance dramas, folk songs and theater, the Gavaniyars from Rajasthan and the Hamras from Jammu and Kashmir show how fragile the social fabric is, engulfed in the evils of violence. This play shows a distressed family caught in the web of politics. On one hand, it is harassed by the alleged local militant groups, and on the other hand, it is looked upon suspiciously by the security forces. Probably it is this anguished dilemma that makes a common man such as this young man hesitate in revealing his true identity. To him, being an Indian could be as risky as being a Pakistani or a member of a militant group. आप लोग सुबह उठते हैं अखबार पढ़ते हैं चाय पीते हैं नाश्ता करते हैं टेलीविजन देखते हैं खबर देखते हैं बच्चों को स्कूल भेजने के लिए तैयारी करते हैं पत्नी घर की तैयारी करती है और निकल पड़ती है ऑफिस की तरफ पुरुष लोग अपने दफ्तर की ओर जाते हैं हर चीज अलग अलग होती है आपको लगता है कि जीवन बहुत मामूली है जिंदगी बहुत नॉर्मल सी है हर चीज बहुत हल्की है लेकिन जिसे आप नॉर्मल जीवन मानते हैं वो कश्मीर में ऐसा नहीं है अब देखिए ना वो सज्जन अपने घर की तैयारी कर रहे हैं उनकी पत्नी मदद कर रही है और बच्ची स्कूल जाने की इज्जत कर रही है here, the play depicts the frustration of a family when the girl wants to continue her education against the wishes of her father. The girl feels education is important for her future. The father feels insecure about the violent situation prevailing and fears for his child's safety. Yeah, what's it? 
The feel of utter shock is palpable and the audience appears emotionally affected when the story comes to a tragic end with the death of the girl in a bomb blast. The artists with their performances show how the common man was forced to live with a constant everyday fear. Here the audience could see, feel and sense the poignancy of daily lives in Kashmir. The impact of the plays was immediate and obvious. It is through the medium of this traditional or folk media that Charkha aims to bring to the limelight voices of the common people, their pain and anguish, hopes, aspirations and achievements. Here, in conflict-prone areas, traditional media provides a strong creative outlet for the people's emotions and the message is clear, they want peace and violence must stop. Charkha's aim is to revive these dying art forms, which in turn will regenerate livelihoods of these people. The power of traditional media could go a long way towards raising levels of awareness, education and empowerment through their own voices, in their own ways, understood and imbibed I'm not